Thursday the 7th of June 2018 The Scum Davis Brexit Rift with PM Piss off They're all in the same party They're working together This rift is for your benefit They want to make you think that he's actually trying to do something for us When in actual fact he's one of the scum Along with Theresa May <clears throat> OAP victim of lawless UK, mugged widow 100, dies, neck broken in sickening attack. Brave Rose, I took pills for months to battle depression. And did it work? No. Why were you depressed? Was you uh, molested as a, a young lad? Probably. Daily fail. The best knee replacements is I've told you about this. It's it's just bullshit. Keep pushing this crap. New figures reveal violent crime up 50% in parts of Britain. Two elderly women's necks broken in vicious attacks, and one image of a machete thug sums up chilling reality of Wild West UK. Now the government will be pissing themselves at this. They will be laughing their tits off because this is all they're doing, and it's exactly what they wanted. Striking fear into his victims, this machete-wielding mast raider personifies Britain's violent crime wave. Wild West London. Like I said, it's exactly what the government want. Keep us distracted with all the shit that they do. That way we won't realise that they're still raping children, murdering children, planning to depopulate the planet, which includes you. Europe's most baffling road signs. Hmm. 60 moped muggings a day as police fear copycat crime spree. <clears throat> now this was in yesterday's papers as well. It's like, you know, one reports it one day and the other one's got nothing to write about. On the front page, let's not forget that, the front page of the rag. Oh, I'll use that for what they reported yesterday. Just boop, there you go. <clears throat> May accused of deceiving ministers over Brexit. What about May deceiving us? That's more important than the scummy ministers. <sighs> War cabinet kept in dark about key document. And the picture, independent spirit, Mary Wilson, widow of the Labour Prime Minister, Harold Wilson, has died at 102. <clears throat> If it is a woman, because honestly it looks like a bloke, and we know that, that dirty pedo was into raping and murdering children. And of course, he's also the one that took us into Europe, the dictatorship. So he's got a lot of karma to sort out. <clears throat> Bad news. Pupils. Studying damages eyesight. Hmm, possibly. But then if you don't study, you remain dumb. So it's a... Uh, Catch 22. You can always use um, uh, a certain oil to help with the eyes. <clears throat> the Guardian. May will give NHS significant, significant budget increase, Hunt reveals. It doesn't matter how much you increase a budget to the NHS, those at the top will continue stealing the money in a way of paying like £35 for an inhaler that you can buy for less than a pound and this just look at hospitals they rip you off everywhere the car parking rip off food rip off um, everything to do with hospitals is a rip off and that's because they're all a private for-profit corporation when you look deeper into it for instance the QMC I think it's got about 80 different corporations operating there from car parking to the shops you'd be gobsmacked they're all in it to rip us off as planned by the government the picture um, demonstrators march on number 10 Palestinian supporters re re uh, protest outside Downing Street <clears throat> yeah stop arming Israel 
Uh, but it's not so much Israel, it's probably it's Netanyahu and the rest of the Ashkenazi scum. Express. Pop star Robbie escapes hotel in Furno using the fire exit where there was no smoke and no fire. Oh, so it's a non story then. David Davis on Warpath, EU shooting itself in the foot. <clears throat> And why is he arguing apparently with me? Oh, of course he's not. It's all smoke and mirrors to keep you looking over here while you're not looking at the dirty pedos in Parliament. <clears throat> Britain's violent crime crisis. 100-year-old dies after street mugging. Widow who fled the Nazis in World War II had neck broken in handbag robbery on way to church. It's exactly what the government want. So you can't be surprised. However, it needs to stop. Star. Rip. RIP to Minder Barman Dave. Ice Hunk secretly loaded. Who gives a shit? Oh, I'll hunk. Blaze at Celeb Haunt. Robbie Flea's Hotel Inferno. Okay, so. You simply. Oh, there's a fire. Oh, all right. I'll just walk down the uh, fire escape. Yeah, there we go. And I'm out. But that doesn't sell papers. So, Robbie Flea's Hotel Inferno makes it look more like. Ooh! Uh, it's rags just make shit up and make. You expect it to believe it, but a lot do. Which is it's mind blowing. Although a lot are not believing them, they're crapping them now. Am I wrong to let my 11 year old daughter. This is Mirror. Am I not wrong to let my 11 year old daughter watch Love Island? Yes, you are. <clears throat> Rolling Scone. Why is Mick Jagger copying Mary Berry's style? Well, they're both about the same age, aren't they? 89. Pilot four times drink fly limit. Shame BA officer fl fe facing jail after be being arrested before takeoff on 300 passenger jet. He needs to go to prison. Telegraph. Hidden torment of Kate Spader. Uh, Danny Rose, England star, opens up on his depression. So these these are people. These are men and women that are well off, got loads and wonga, mega money, got no worries, and yet they've got depression and they kill themselves. Money doesn't solve everything. And once we get rid of the money system, it will become apparent why. I did say the Telegraph, didn't I? Well, I just have it, I have Davis in public battle with May over Brexit. No, he's not. It's all smoke and mirrors. They're working together to keep us... Looking over here, look over there, 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 there. Don't look at Parliament where the real paedophiles are. Lightning strikes for home. Oh, I accept it's had to cancel because of bad weather. <clears throat> Old technology hampers police in fight against moped gangs. Oxbridge threatened why with fines over student diversity failures. Yes, follow the government line because they never make mistakes ever and they're always doing for our best interest. Oh wait, actually, no, that's the other way around, isn't it? Welby. Raise taxes and borrow more for NHS. Spoken like a true Etonian, scumbag, traitor to humanity. Prince to give evidence on paedophile bishop. I want the day to come where Prince is in char in prison for his paedophilia that he's been doing of raping, murdering of children and drink and drinking the stuff when they're terrified. Kim won't agree to hand over weapons. Bullshit. And why should he, though? Even if that was true. Decree to step down as Daily Mirror editor. Wow. The dirty tricks and of undercover cops need a good rinse. So thank you, Lush. NHS finding 
funding will get significant boost, says Unt. My battle with depression and how I'm coming through the other side. Decree leaves after 26 years at the helm of right-wing tabloid. Britain criticises Israel and Palestinian deaths. Don't believe that for a second. Run, risk, run, rest, drink. The three top tips for avoiding Alzheimer's and coconut oil. TSB has ruined our wedding. Bank, uh, bank IT fiasco leaves couple in the lurch. Sue them. And then when they don't pay up, and then put out of business. All banks need to be gone. Students demand more lectures. Undergraduates are happier and have a greater sense of well-being and more out the more hours they work. Huge student survey also reveals that most feel they are not getting value for money from courses. Of course not. Of course not. <clears throat> Top UK universities marked down on teaching. Should be. Top UK brain laundries marked down for doing exactly as they've been told to do by the government. Metro. Hotel to the stars, up in smoke. Good. Plot f pilot four times of a drink fly limit, faces jail. Do you know your Euro road signs? Why is that coming out a lot when we're supposed to be leaving Europe? Two papers that's been in now. I'm pushing something there, but I'm not sure what. Battle to save our cop shops. Burglary victim saved by police launches legal challenge. The victim of one of Britain's most notorious burglars has gone to court in a bid to stop police stations closure, closing. Suzanne and Piers new gig. What's up with Love Island Doc? It's shit. Well, I assume so, because I don't watch the crap anyway. <coughs> the only thing but independent. Corbyn's using the Blair playbook. Well, they are all in it together. Why sex in, and the city is still relevant. Sex in the city, it was called. But the Mandela effect has changed it to sex and the city. The story behind Britain's crime wave. It's the government. My battle with depression and the picture. They don't exactly see eye to eye, but then again, they're both, both Ashkenazi Zionist scum, so this is an act for the public. Yeah, look, we're up, let's see together. We're, as soon as the cameras are off, well done, Netanyahu, for killing all them Palestinians. That was great move. Kill some more for us. But of course, we can't show openly that we support you because, you know, we're all a member of the same scumbags. Benjamin Netanyahu and treasonous May clashes over Israel action in Gaza during talks at number 10 yesterday. Bullshit, that's a pre set up photo shot, photo op. They know exactly what they're doing. Almost 4 million in UK forced to use food banks. The government's plotting is working to perfection. They want us all at food banks. When that, when that happens, if that happens, if you're dumb enough to let that happen, it might be too late then. Financial Times. How millennials have shaken up the global economy? This millennials bullshit. That's a new word that they're using at the moment. Oh, this millennials love it. Google braced for Brussels attack over using Android to block rivals. Biggest regulatory action. Fine expected within weeks. Group denies wrongdoing. All right. So they're going to find Google, are they? We're going to find you one billion whatever. Yeah, there you go. We make a hundred billion a day. So one billion isn't going to make any difference. One trillion? That might be a... A fine worth looking at. But, but then again, what happens? <laughs> Promise you know, there you go. Who's it go to? Well, it just vanishes into the abyss. And all fines just vanish into the abyss, never to be seen again. So, in actual fact, they don't get fined. They just, it's just said they get fined when in reality they don't because they're all working together against us. 
made to clash with Davis on Irish border, plan that ties Britain to customs union. <clears throat> it's all going perfectly, exactly as they planned. US Iran sanctions threaten global payments network. Ah, oh, of course, I should have seen that coming. It's Iran's fault that, that Visa and whatever crashed, system crashed. It's, it's Iran's fault, so we better invade them because we know that Iran's done it. Because um, if we tell you that, then you might allow us to actually attack Iran, who haven't attacked anyone for over 100 years. And when was the last time Britain attacks on? Oh, yeah, last month. What about the US? Oh, last month. What about France, Germany? Oh, last month. Can we see who the terrorists are yet? The governments of your country are the terrorists. <laughs>